Welcome to OneNote Real Life Uses. I'm Trainer Laurie. What are real life uses in OneNote? Well, you probably already know how to use this amazing tool, but people have asked me, how could I use it? How else could I use it besides what I'm already doing? So I'm going to show you what people, me and other people, are doing to use OneNote. For example, when I first started using OneNote, it was because of genealogy. I went to a conference and they suggested using it to store your family research. What a great idea! You could have each section as a different name, and then within the section, you can have pages that store your photos, your interview notes, your forms, your research needs. About school activities, this is the way most people get started on OneNote. Whether it's your classes or whether it's your children's classes. Imagine all the things that you could store in there. Home activities. How about creating a trip itinerary in OneNote and then taking it with you on your OneNote app on your tablet or in your smartphone so that you could actually see it as you're there. A training manual. I have started deconstructing my PowerPoint presentations because not everybody needs to see them in a linear fashion. They may only need to see this or this out of the training. So I'm deconstructing it and showing slides as pages. Templates and repository for templates. For example, your letterhead, your meeting notes, agendas, follow-ups, announcements, anything that you have to use over and over again. The same structure but different content. Why not save it in OneNote? But not only that, uh, for example, today somebody asked me about OneNote on SharePoint. Uh, they said that they wanted to create templates in Word, but you can't really do that in Word on SharePoint. So I suggested that they save a OneNote notebook full of templates. And then you can right click on the tab when you're uh, when you need to use it and save it as a word and now my my templates are already in there and my word document already has what I need the letterhead or the meeting notes email trail I happen to use it for training emails I send out uh, emails and uh, I can't remember uh, you know all the the great little trainings little tutorials that I've created so I have a place to save it so that I can uh, use it again sh show it to other people as needed or even put it in a, a document that everybody could have access to it's great for collaboration instead of having one person try to collect all the agenda items for a meeting, why not have it in one place where everybody can contribute to it and they can all have their own input. Plus, if you don't feel comfortable with uh, each of the contributors, you can always see who shared what and you can show the initials of the collaborator by using the share tab. How about a presentation tool? I don't have a projector and I want everybody looking at the same content at the same time. Why not use OneNote? You can even do that across the miles. You can uh, make sure that everybody has access to it and then just use a, a phone conference instead of having to set up some kind of a webinar conference. Imagine having all your passwords, credit card numbers, bank account information, website passwords, frequent flyer accounts, all that information that you don't want anybody else to have access to, but you need access to it wherever you happen to be. Then you simply put it in one section of your notebook and password protected. Then the data is encrypted and no one will have access to it except you. So you could use it, for example, on your application, your uh, smartphone, your tablet. You can have it on your app available to you at your fingertips whenever you need it. It's a great brainstorming tool. So you've got a um, one note open and uh, everybody's throwing out ideas and someone's capturing it. You can even do it across the miles again and have everybody uh, uh, put in their ideas at the same time. And then you can annotate it using the drawing tools as needed. And then when you're done, you can save it as a PDF or a Word. Remember, each section can be saved as a PDF file or a Word separately. Power meeting notes using Outlook as well. For example, you can insert meeting details from Outlook right into OneNote. Then you could record the audio of the meeting for full transcription in case there's uh, some uh, dissent or contention. You can have the audio fully recorded and then you can take small notes in the notebook while you're recording it and it will bookmark where those quotes are. So it's easy reference. 
and then you can tag important tasks or questions so that you can go back and find them easily or even send them back into Outlook as a task. A wiki or team research. In this notebook, everybody can put in new tips as they discover them as we rolled out a new product. And so uh, not only was my training in there, but other people could add information as well. I hope you liked it. And feel free to subscribe to the Trainer Lori channel so you can get updates on all my training. And please click like if you liked it. Thank you.